I'm back, I'm back, I'm Gertie Rude. Back again, I'm in a mood. Well, Vooty Voos, I'm in a very, very happy Friday mood today. I am. And can you imagine how happy your old Gert was when I turned it on me bleeding logarithms this morning or whatever it's called, me channel, and I found I'd got 10 new subscribers. Can I thank each and every one of you individually, all 3,010 of you, especially all my... All the people that have been with me since the beginning of my decline into madness and senility. Yes, not more than a couple of years ago. Well, it'll be two years next month, won't it, Vutuvers? I know for my sins. And it's just wonderful. It's growing. I'm growing my community of Looney Tunes. I am. We can all be Looney Tunes together, can't we? Yes, we can. And have a laugh at the circus. Yes, especially the clown act, because we do like that, don't we? It's the, it's the best part of the circus every day of the week, isn't it? Let's be honest. So tonight, I'm going to be doing my Friday night live with Gertie at five. Yes, so please come along and join me if you can. Get in the old com comment section, like, subscribe, press the notification button, or just do whatever you want, really. Send me a nice comment, send me a nasty comment, whatever. All comers are very welcome. Yes, I love it when people are rude to me. I love that the best. Well, I love it all, really. Nice and nasty. And talking of which, we have these two. We do, we do, they're here. And apparently, apparently, it's Ginger Barry's birthday tomorrow. Yes, he's going to be 40. I had him down for 38, but we're so confused about their ages, aren't we? Both sides of the fence, if you know, if you know what I mean. Anyway, should we take a look at what's happening here? Because I found this quite a... Well, a lucid account of what's going on by a lady from the Access Summit or other. Are they American, Canadian? I do not know. At the 2023 right. Invictus Games. They are. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex oh. stepped out together for the Ukraine-Nigeria mixed team sitting volleyball yeah, match. During they made sure they were in the Ukraine, weren't they? <laughs> it's so fashionable to be in the Ukraine, especially get a few Nigerian people there as well. Yes! Oh, it gives me kudos, it does, yes. This is going to look fantabulous in my next documentary, what we call it, what I'm going to make it. I am, I am, yes. Here, do you think I might be able to make it a scene in uh, Go Jump in the River? Do you know that movie I'm going to, I'm going to be the star in? I am, I am. Yes, it's a love story. It's going to be about me, obviously, you know. And ostensibly, what's his name that's holding behind me? What's his name? I can't think of his name. Anyway, him with the ginger hair. Yes, it's supposed to be about him, but I'm not having him starring in it. No, no, I'm having Leonardo to bleed Caprio. Yes, I am. I ain't bleeding stupid. Well, you know, they say I am. They say I'm rather shallow, but I might be. But stupid, I'm not. Yes, do you really think I'd have that baldy bleed ginger anywhere near me? No, not for any amount of money from Netflix. No, no, no. A5 in Dusseldorf on Thursday. Right. <laughs> so in love. The couple Hello. joined fans in this. They're so in love with the cameras. <laughs> Look at me talking to Nigelese people. Hello, Nigelese. I can talk that language. I can, I can. Stands at the event, and Harry was seen wrapping his arms around his yes. wife as she leaned back into him yes. and grabbed his arm. In another tender moment, oh. Megan put her arm around his back and the pair oh. looked at him. She got a fly on her top there. Has she got a fly? Maybe they're attracted, you know, sometimes flies do seem to be attracted to, yes, certain things, don't they bless them? Oh, it's a lovely tank top. Very Each becoming. other with wide grins. Yeah, it becomes you. Earlier in yes. the day, the parents of two had another sweet moment when they held hands while meeting with the NATO Joint Force Command and families. Oh, from the with the UN Joint Force Command. <laughs> Not in the least controversial, no. <laughs> or staged. It's just happened completely naturally, naturally, uh, naturalistically, whatever the word is. You know, when you don't do it on purpose, but you do really. One of them. Yeah. Yes, we're getting political again. Yeah, hello, you ain't come on, bloke. <laughs> Italy it's me. I'm wearing beige. The duo has been in Germany oh, attending the international sport. What's happening now? 
Oh, we sat with the peasants again. Third wounded or six service members, which was signed by Prince Harry in 2014. Yes. After something, I'm so natural and unpretentious. I can't help myself. Yeah, look, we're both wearing black. Ha ha ha! When said Nigelese people, let's get another picky. Away from their roles as senior working members of the royal family in 2020. Oh, no, not made... this story. That's really boring. Senior working roles. We stepped back from them. You never stepped up. So how can you step back? Bleed. What's it? Grifters. Oh, well, I've got to be so careful. I nearly said a very rude word. Oh my god, stand away from the dog. What's she doing with that bleeding dog? We better have a look. No, don't rescue it, it's fine. Arms, Dear. While Harry wrapped his around her. Oh, After yeah. attending the medal ceremony oh. at wheelchair basketball finals that same. It's like I always say, it's so lovely when you see sort of perimenopausal women making out with their toy boy lovers, isn't it? It does, it's lovely. It gladdens me heart, it makes me feel all warm. <laughs> I'm kind of icky. Day, the 42-year-old also put her arm on her husband yes. and laughed with him. They're as loved they up. We get the bloody message. They're loved up. Thank you. Move on. Even yeah. I'm getting bored. Earlier this year, oh, the it's yellow people again. Hello, yellow people. Hello. After the book hit shelves, Dailymail.com. Why are you putting them lot in? They're definitely down the hill. They're like travellers. Did you know? Yes. But Get that off of my documentary. It's all about me, you know. There I am at the back. Hello. Look, I look like a proper Muppet. Don't know how to. <laughs> Com's Charlie Langston gave Access Hollywood her yes. take on how it could well, impact the potential reconciliation what am I between doing the here? Where's the camera? Royals. Can I make a speech? Hugely here we go. Moments. I like this bit. I think anyone who has seen their name dragged through the mud by a family member yes. in such a public forum I love this lady couldn't help but feel yes. huge amounts of hurt right uh betrayal exactly but also anger yes especially because of all people Harry is she's angry on their behalf isn't she that senior members of the royal family yes are bound by yes certain rules right that prevent them right from Acknowledging attacks yes. like this, uh -huh. only on very, very right. rare occasions yes. will the palace comment on allegations, accusations, rumors. I think they should. I think they should. I think they should speak their bleed mind because it seems to be on vogue at the moment, doesn't it? I mean, you know, why don't they just join in? But anyway, I do take your point. And it is rather what I've said all along as well. They know damn well that they can't say anything, so they can throw as many, you know, brick bats at them or whatever it's called you know they just say what they want and so on they can't say anything and even when they do comment mm. it is a very short one-line response mm. when william for example said we are very much not a racist family of course they're not when buckingham palace issued a statement about the oprah interview saying that recollections may vary at no point well that came out that it was actually catherine that um catherine's quote but it was given to the queen you know, it's sort of thing you can imagine our dear old majesty say, but in fact, it was actually Catherine. Um, yeah, but I think also there's more to it. It's like I've tried to say before, I think the history books write hell of a lot different. Sorry, but none of us will be around to know. Um, I think they've got to be very careful what they say, uh, especially from Charles's point of view, because I think um, Harry knows the goods. He knows stuff that would be rather awkward if it came out into the public domain. Um, so it's like they've got to be very careful what they say and what they don't say. They've got to tread very carefully, which is why after time, when I think when they know he's uh, touching down in Blighty, they all sort of make themselves exceedingly busy so that they don't have to see him. Because, I mean, the least said to him, the better, really. Um, I think they're in a situation where they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. Uh, like he did sort of uh, quizzically say, didn't he... Uh, he had a lot more to say. That he could have said a lot more, didn't he? And then she started saying, "Oh, I'm gonna write a book and all I am." Well, say me, be only Scobie. You remember him, don't you? Oh my God! Yes, he's me alter ego. He is. Yeah, he's actually me in men's clothing. He is. He is. You know that one. So she's gonna write a biography, though. God knows what that's gonna be about. I hate my family. I hate his family. I'm marvelous, and uh, I rescued dogs, but hey, they died. Never mind. Let's not talk about that. At the end. That'll be it, really, won't it? So, yeah, I do think there's a lot more going on behind the scenes, metaphorically. 
Uh, they can't shut him up. So it's best to not give him any fuel to make him yab, if you get me. Yes, capiche? Anyone inside the palace walls being given the opportunity to defend themselves, and Harry knows this. In one of his TV interviews to, to publicise the book, she's proper annoyed, isn't she? The fact that the royal family's motto is never complain, no, never, never explain, explain. So never apologise. Never explain, never apologise. Never complain, never explain, and never apologise. Yes, it's just not done, you know. You just smile and wave regally and go about your day. Right. And that there is very little that they can do they to can't. defend themselves. Yeah. So he is effectively shouting attacks at his brother, at yep. Kate, at Charles, at Camilla, all of whom have metaphorical tape over their mouths. And yep. that is the written version. Oh dear. Isn't that something cults do? Haven't we been hearing about tape being put over people's mouths metaphorically and actually? from a certain Mormon cult at the moment. Yes, it does seem to be something that those sort of narcissistic sociopaths try out, isn't it? So that they, they've got, they can't really speak about, they can't say anything. I mean, it, it would be too bad if it, it would be bad that it is actually the uh, adult members of the family. But I seem to remember that it wasn't the preserve of just the adults, their ire, was it? It was also directed vitriolically onto their children, which to me, I'm sorry, is up there with the unforgivable, totally unforgivable. I mean, beyond un unforgivable. I can't see how she or him can ever hack themselves or onto children's charities. But there you go. It's nothing to do with me, is it? Keep your nose out of it, Gertie Bleed Mood. I mean, you've only got to look at the way she treats her side of the family and then gets up on every stage available. Yes, and lectures us about compassion and families and empathy and all this old bleeding hooey. Anyway... The Sussex Roadshow rolls on and on and on and it's not coming to a standstill anytime soon, is it? So it's just another thing that we, the British public or the public at large, the peasants, yes, the undermensch, we just have to handle it, don't we? We just have to bear the burden, yes, stoically through two thirds. Or here's another thing. We can all have a bloody good laugh at them, couldn't we? Yes, we can. Ah, bye now. Hey, hope to see you tonight. Gertie goes live at five. Yes, five o'clock, British Standard Time, over here in your blighty. Bye-bye now, wherever you are. Have a fantabulous day, stroke evening, stroke night, whatever time it is when you're listening to me waffle, flap me bleed gums, wherever you are, if you can make it. Yeah, we can all have a laugh. And I think we need to bring this subject up again. I think we do. I think the whole thing has been a very unseemly fiasco, Vutu, for us. And we need a discussion only. Yes, we do. Bye-bye now.